Hi guys, it's Alyssa from Planet Alyssa, and today we're actually going to do a little time traveling. One of the lovely ladies that watches my YouTube videos uh, had a question and it kind of inspired me to make this video. So thank you, uh, Christina Campbell, for your for your question, which turned into a suggestion. And Christina wanted to know about uh, when I got started on Etsy, my early days, and if I could give a little insight on that. So I decided to uh, to go take a look back at when I started on Etsy and what sort of sales I had when I first started on Etsy. So we're gonna get in our time machine and travel back in time. The year is 2011. Kids were playing with fidgets, adults were playing with iPhone 4S's, and Kate Middleton married some royal guy. And Alyssa Grasso was starting an Etsy shop. Now I wanna show you a little screenshot of my first year on Etsy. 2011 was technically my first year on Etsy. I sold just 45 items for a total selling price of $427. I had some weeks that were pretty much the equivalent of that in December of 2014. Now this is a bit misleading because even though I started my shop in 2011 and it was technically operational in January, I really didn't have anything in it. I mean, I think I had maybe two or three items and wasn't really actively listing new things either. You see, I was a bit busy in 2011. I actually had my first book come out and um, I spent the better part of the spring and the summer promoting the book, um, doing book signings and festivals and basically anything I could possibly do to, uh, to get the word out there about my book. So that was taking up all my time. So really, it wasn't until the fall that I actually got active with Etsy. As you saw in that, that screenshot that I showed, um, my sales really went up at the tail end of 2011, and that's when I actually started selling stuff. Um, I'm not exactly sure what my first sale was. I don't know that it was until the fall, or maybe I sold a thing or two over the summer. By the way, when I started my Etsy shop, I was actually living in my parents' townhouse, um, and I had all my worldly possessions, or just about all my worldly possessions, in a storage unit, a rented storage unit. Um, and I was selling merchant fulfilled books on Amazon at this time, so I had all those books in there and then you know added this Etsy shop to it so basically had like a shelf in there where I had some Etsy items stored it really it was really a small collection when I first started and um, as I kept adding to it I kind of had to to change my organization method because there was just too much stuff and I couldn't store it all now by 2012 I was actually getting more active in Etsy um, in 2012 I moved to the apartment I'm living in now um, and this apartment is great because it has a walk-up attic and guess what it is filled with uh, merchandise it's filled with my Etsy wares as well as some books that I still sell merchant fulfilled on Amazon uh, by comparison 2012 was a much busier Etsy year for me than 2011 um, it still was much much less money than I made in 2014 but I was pretty happy with what I was doing in 2012. Um, my sales were almost 10 times what they were in 2011, so that's pretty awesome. In 2012, I sold 448 items on Etsy for a total selling price of $5,445.25. Um, so that's just proof that you can start out very small and grow as sales start coming in and you have money to buy new inventory and uh, in my case have space to store new inventory. And um, just for comparison by this year's sales, I mean, I know I'm complaining about how slow January has been for me, but in January of 2012, and 2012 was a, a pretty good year for me, um, I sold just 15 items. That's for the whole month. And the total selling price was only $131. So I would not be discouraged by slow sales, especially at this time of year, um, because things will pick up. And as you can see from the screenshots I showed you, you know, 2011, which was kind of a sad looking year, uh, versus 2012, which was a pretty nice looking year for my Etsy business. Things, you know, will grow, they will improve, and if you, Put some time into it and list some new items, you're going to sell them on Etsy, I, I guarantee you. you know, when I first started out, I 
probably wasn't taking very good photos. I didn't know too much about the stuff I was listing. I didn't know where to find great vintage stuff. I mean, it was kind of hit or miss. And I learned as I went along. Uh, I started taking better pictures. Um, I started finding more items. I started learning more about the items that sell on Etsy because I could tell by what I was selling and what other people had listed in their shops. So for those of you that are new sellers on Etsy, um, have hope. There, there is a lot of money to be made on Etsy and your shop will grow. And you wouldn't think by looking at my 2011 that I would still be selling on Etsy. Uh, last year, I, I just looked at my stats. Um, I sold 500 some items for about $9,700 last year on Etsy. Um, so that's pretty nice to grow from a, a $448 a year business to a $9,700 a year business. And um, hopefully 2015 is an even better year. Um, unfortunately, my time machine does not allow me to go forward in time, so I can't see what it's going to look like, but I have a feeling it's going to be pretty good. So thank you, Christina, for your, your comment, which turned into a suggestion for me, and uh, thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to, uh, to share it or give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, and um, I wish you the best of luck in your business if you're new sellers or experienced sellers, and um, I hope that your store continues to grow and your sales continue to increase. And um, happy selling, everyone.